What is going on, everybody? Connor from Infinite Discs right now with you here. Oh gosh, already starting out this way. We got three zones. One of them is a little bit different from the others, as you can see with the little OS sign. This is gonna be a quick video. All I wanna do is tell you exactly how they feel from each other, because they're a little bit different in the hand. And then we're gonna test them and see how they fly. I have not thrown the zone OS yet. This is gonna be my first time. And it's gonna be some fun. I guess we should just start by first getting the initial thoughts of kind of the shape of the disc and how they feel apart from one another because I do love the zone. I've been throwing it for a while. Let's quit the talking. Let's get into the video. Also, once you're done watching the video, check these out on infinitedisc.com. Um, I think they have the Brody ones on there still, so go get one of those. And if they don't, then grab an Adam Hammis one. Go check out a zone. Check out all Discraft's new tour series stuff on infinitedisc.com. Back to your regular scheduled pro... First things first, this has been the zone that's been in my bag probably for about like eight months. I had another one that was in there before and that one is, well, it's gone. So it's, it's in some water. And then this is kind of my backup zone. And right now it's definitely more overstable than that zone. So how do these compare? Cause these are pretty much both new discs. This is the cow, this is the workhorse, this is the beefy boy. Well, the zone is definitely a little bit deeper. This feels more like a mid-range than a putter in a lot of scenarios, and this feels more like a deep-rimmed putter. And you can see, I mean, it's it's definitely a little deeper. And then other than that, I guess the only really thing that is different is maybe this is like a little bit more blunt here and here. I mean, but in the hand, um, I mean, it feels like a zone, which is weird just a little bit deeper. Uh, this feels a little bit more shallow, it's a little bit deeper, and that's really the only thing that I could say they, that is different between the Zone and the Zone OS. So why don't we throw these? Yeah. First off, we're gonna be throwing these zones so we can get a good baseline. And I'm just gonna be aiming out for that kind of log out there. And we're just gonna give it a backhand first and we'll throw a forehand. And we'll see how they really compare because overall the feel is pretty similar. Pretty straight with the finish. That one has been a little bit straighter for me as of late. Now let's go with this Glow Z zone. Should be pretty similar, maybe a little bit more of a dump at the end. Yeah, pretty much same type of thing. Wow, that actually went a little bit further. We're getting warmed up here, people. First initial thoughts with this Zone OS. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, that went 100 feet shorter. Oh. I did not realize it was gonna be like that, but it, I guess it's gonna be like that. I will say I threw that a tiny bit low, but just a tad, not not like a crazy amount. But at the same time, you gotta give me a little bit of a break because this thing wanted to get to the ground as fast as possible. So not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to have a little bit of glide, but we're gonna give this another shot with a forehand. I mean, these things probably went 45 feet shorter than, or longer than the Zone OS. Very interesting stuff. We're, we're getting places with this. We're we're discovering it, we're figuring it out, and let's throw some forehands. I think this is where, if this makes the bag, it's gonna be mainly for forehands. In extreme wind at the, at the same time, only extreme wind. Yeah. And that's just a nice, consistent zone flight. Well, I hit that one with a little bit more Anheuser than I was anticipating. So let's hit it with that same angle with this. We're gonna give it some height, give it some Anheuser, see how it goes. Wow. I mean, I tried to hit it with Anheuser and it came straight out of my hand and just wanted to turn. Is it throwable? Is it workable? Can it even make the bag? I don't know. The disc just went nowhere. It went nowhere. The heck are we supposed to do about that? Where I do think this disc has utility is sometimes the zone just isn't quite overstable enough. Obviously, that's why they made a zone OS. And when I get to shorter shots, shorter shots where I'm throwing a forehand up shot and it's a little windy, sometimes I take the zone out of my head and I throw a justice. Now, I think that throwing a slower disc that's just as overstable or even more overstable than justice would benefit my game and would have a place in my bag. We got a shot similar to this right here. Let's throw it. We'll see how they fly. I guess we'll see what one gets closer. Maybe that will be the determining factor. I don't know. So I mean the zone, I could just kind of like throw it straight at it a little bit, which is nice because I know it's not gonna dump to the left on me, but I could just rely on it to go straight, maybe finish a little bit. 
this I know it's gonna come back. Normally this is my bread and butter, little forehand up shots. But I don't know if I can figure out the zone quite good enough, or the zone OS quite good enough to really like it. There we go. That was good. It was a little skippy at the end, but overall, I'd say I was happy with that little up shot. Well, this is gonna be the last shot of the video. The basket, I set up about 250 feet away, and I just wanna see how well I could do with trying to get at it. You know, let's start with the zone OS. I think I'm gonna have to throw this hard to get it there, which is weird. Came up a little short. Didn't throw it as hard as I could, but I threw it pretty hard. Probably went about 230 feet. I bet. I just threw it flat, maybe a little bit of hyzer out to the right. Very consistent, that's what I can say about it. That should be absolutely parked. Definitely interesting stuff that we have going. And I, I'm confused on what to tell you guys because I don't quite know. I don't quite know what to say about it. So here's my final thoughts after taking a second to wrap my brain around that disc right there. We have that disc, landed about 25 feet short of that disc. I probably threw them about the same. So I would say the zone of West goes about 25 to 35 or 40 feet shorter than the zone. But the best way to describe the feeling of a zone OS, it's like a, the depth of a harp, super beefy. It kind of feels like a harp and a zone had a little baby together and it's extremely overstable. So that's the best way I can describe it. Quick little fun video that I wanted to do personally because I wanted to try out the Zone OS. I know that on infinite discs right now, you go pick up the Brody Zone. Go check those out. Make sure you get the Tour Series Brody, Brody Zone OS and I think Adam Hammes has the, has the other zone. Maybe pick that up too. Check out the link below. My arm is just dying from holding this camera. Jeez. All right, we'll see you later. Peace out. Bye. Finishing out this video with a little pizzazz. I'm gonna show you what a normal little zone Annie flex looks like, and then we're gonna go zone OS extreme Annie flex to park it. How about that? Well, that sucked. All right, zone OS super Annie flex. Here we go. Throwing it hard. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Hey, that got the pin high. And how far is this hole? Not far, but I got the pin high.